Bowman here from BW1 and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Samsung Smart Switch Mobile. Now what Samsung Smart Switch is, is basically a program that allows you to switch from your old phone to a new Galaxy phone. Now there's two different versions of it, there's the PC version which you would normally use for if you're switching from a non-Galaxy phone to a Galaxy phone. In this case we're actually transferring between two different, well, pretty much the same Galaxy phone actually, but if you're going from Galaxy S2 to let's say a Galaxy S3 or a Galaxy S4 or a Note 1 to Note 3 or a Galaxy S3 to maybe to a Note 2 or something like that, you can use the smart um, sync smart sync mobile uh, the smart switch mobile app I know it's a lot to say right there um, it's pretty simple and easy to use we're gonna use the mobile version like we said and now the main thing you want to make sure you have is basically have both of your phones pretty much set up have uh, the smart the smart um, app already installed which we have on both here we have smart switch mobile here you gotta come up with a better name of smart switch mobile and then let me bring it up here. Now, the way they connect essentially is through audio frequencies. They can they, that's basically how they um, hear each other or connect to each other rather. So, um, what you want to do is you pretty much you can read the directions here. Is, you know, you bring the device within 50 meters of each 50 centimeters. Open the smart switch, smart switch in both devices. Select connect to one of the devices and transfer data once you're connected. So, we'll hit connect here. And you can see the other one starts up. Now this is probably going to be a key thing you're going to use to say if you're going to go from a, uh, a Galaxy S4, Galaxy S3, or Galaxy Note 2 to maybe the new Galaxy Note 3 that's going to come out here. All right, and this lets you know that files on the SD card won't be transferred. Now it pretty much tells you what it's going to transfer between here. It does do, do a pretty decent job of uh, getting a lot of stuff from contacts, messaging, text messaging is obviously a huge thing pictures, music, uh, videos, and app list. It doesn't bring over the apps, but at least a list of apps so you can re-download them again. Lock screen, wallpapers, S Health, story albums, all sort of those things that I was using on this S4, I'm gonna bring over to here. And uh, we're not really gonna select anything from this end because we don't really need to transfer anything over. But here, um, I don't really need to transfer my contacts because I use uh, Google, uh, pretty much Gmail and Google Apps to sync that. So it's all coming off of the cloud. So that's always going to sync no matter what. Uh, same thing with calendar. It always just, just kind of just syncs. Uh, messages, we're definitely going to transfer over. I have 8,236 messages. That's a lot of text messages, but that's still a lot of conversations. Even though text messages are kind of old, it's still a conversation sometimes you want to keep up and sort of want to keep with. A lot of business deals are even done through text messages these days. So um, sort of the email-esque of short messaging, I would say there. You kind of get that analogy. I have an S memo I'll transfer over. I have some pictures that I'm bringing over, some music, uh, videos, a few things there. Even though I use Google Music for most of my stuff, Google Play uh, All Access, I do have some music that I downloaded locally to it itself. Some documents that it's, it could bring over. My call logs, I think I'm going to bring that over as well too. My alarms, which is pretty cool because I have some alarms I did set that I don't want to have to reset again. And I like the fact that it brings over Wi-Fi passwords as well too. So if you connect to a bunch of different Wi-Fi uh, access points over the time, it's going to be able to bring those over. So once you kind of pick and choose what you want to bring, you just hit transfer. And it's going to be begin. It's going to say, you know, it's going to see the 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 sort of the total measuring up there or the percentage of what's being transferred and on this side it's going to say receiving content from the other device we want to go ahead and hit, hit OK and it gives you the uh, pretty much starts up and it's going to let you know what's transferring over you see the messaging it's already done about 20 percent of that and it'll continue to go through here so we'll let this go on and mosey through and once we're done we'll see the end result okay and the transfer is complete here as you can see it tells you let you know the transfer been completed, let you know it's been transferred over. I did have to run this overnight because there were so many text messages that had the transfer over. So um, you got to be kind of conscious of that if you do have a lot of data, it's doing it through Wi-Fi Direct. So you got to remember it's not only transferring the data, but it's also got to organize it and put it in the same locations at, uh, that it was on the old phone to the new phone. So I did let this run overnight, but you can kind of see all the green check boxes there. So all my content that I've transferred from here have transferred over to here. We can even sort of verify some of that here. Install the apps transferred from the connected device on this device before closing smart switch. Yep, yeah, go right on ahead and do that. You can see that it'll bring up the available apps. I had a lot of this already installed as well, 
that um that that came down when I connected my Google account to the phone. But just in case, you can go through and you can uh, actually just go through and install each one of the apps that are formerly on your phone because it'll grab it from the market and you'll be able to download it. So that's pretty nice that it has that available. But let's go ahead and see. Well, I should go back here. We'll click done on this one too. Some files may have not been transferred. No, that's fine. It's okay. We can worry about that a little bit later. Um, you can see here. Um, you can see that the backgrounds have been pretty much the same. Uh, they transferred over. They didn't transfer over the folder structure. Was a little bit disappointing. It would have been nice to see them. Like you see how the folder set up here. It'd have been nice to see them transfer that over as well too. But it's all right. We can go take a look at some of the apps. Let's take a look at S Health. You can see uh, this is the new phone here. We'll open that up. New version. We'll update that a little bit later. Open it up here as well too, and you can see that the uh, all the stuff is pretty much transferred over. Some of my um, let's see, walking made history. Forty five, thirty five steps. There you go from yesterday as well. So you can see all that stuff transferred over right over to the S. Uh, the new S4 over here. But simple enough, pretty easy to use, transfers most of your content over, and you should be good to go to from there. So this is Bowman here from BW1.com, and this is how to use Smart Switch Mobile to switch between Galaxy devices. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help us out. Uh, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page here. We hang out a lot on Google+, Plus, so be sure to follow us on there as well, too, and all other social media and our main website. The link to all that is in the description. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition. Thanks for watching.